that year. Same weekend, actually. Yeah. And then the 2014 final of the Austrian Darts Open, but looking to battle his way back up the rankings is Jabba. Yeah, it was a 6-1 win for him yesterday against Moreno Mikels. And it wasn't particularly brilliant from Jamie. But it was distinctly not brilliant from Moreno. That was brilliant from Mensur. It's not a bad start from Kevin. 60-60, bounce out. 20-60-57. Solid start. Ta look, Jabber has been struggling for a, a couple of years, but if he gets back to how he was, he, he was a very, very dangerous play. You don't win the titles that he's won. You don't make Euro Tour finals. You don't make the quarterfinals that he's done in major tournaments and so agonisingly close. Very much like his good mate Ian White to go in further than the quarterfinal stages of TV majors and just being pipped. Twice at the UK Open, twice at the European Championship, once at the Players' Championship Finals, his major quarterfinal runs. 60. Less said about his Grand Prix record, the better. I mean, he's been there seven times and never got past round one. He's like Kim Ibrex at the match play. Oh, look at this. Oh. 140. Can Mensur take out a big finish to get us underway? That's the first bit done. Ooh, won't happen now, so Caven for an early steal of throw. Looking at double 16. Double eight. Oh, that's well wider than Mark. Yeah, he took a big step over to the right, didn't he, after that first start, and then didn't move at all as he stayed in the double eight, and it's, it's missed by the same margin inside. I just wonder if that was a mistake. The crowd finding their voices. Mensor finding the double top to go one nil up. Mensor Sulovic, part of the Premier League this year, but eliminated. One hundred and seventy-seven. With uh, Gerwin Price when the cutoff was made. And the winner of this will play another Premier League star of 2018, Simon Whitlock, in round three tomorrow. Oh, the score in here is electrifying from Jamie Cape. Oh, he's had another bounce out when he looked destined for the 60. It's the second one in two legs. Oh, madness. Well, Jamie Caven should be on an honorary nine darter here for my money. <laughs> 60 on the floor, 204 left after six. He should be on 144 for the nine, having already hit the tricky treble 19. Go on. Go on then, Jabba. Go for double 12 anyway. Oh. <laughs> that is spectacular leg of darts from Jamie Caven. On for a 10 darter. 10 darter with 60 on the floor. This is as close as we've ever got to a nine darter on the Euro Tour. Since Ross Smith. 140. Here you are, 36. That yes. is the best leg of darts on the European Tour since Ross Smith in Gibraltar five years ago. Nine perfect ones. There was a tenth one which looked perfect and it fell out off the flight. The wait for a nine dart on the Euro Tour continues. That'll do. That's as close as you get. Oh my word! 140. Oh, looking well up for it tonight, Jamie. If I told you. A bald fella was going to step out this evening and halfway through the third leg, he was averaging 121.5. You'd have gone, oh, I find Gerwin lads playing well then. You wouldn't have necessarily thought it was Jamie Caven. <laughs> and that average is climbing. MVG up next against Alan Tabern. Sulevic going about his business as he does. A 
crowd walking in a Phil Taylor wonderland. 140. As they so often still do. Well, Mansour, sometimes when you're playing a guy who's averaging 120 odd, the only way he can win legs is by taking out shots like this, and he's not going to do it. So all he's doing is hoping that Caden misses. He's not really missing the treble 19. Oh, here he is. Single 12. Ha <laughs> ha! Of course, of course. The commentator's curse strikes again. Even Jamie had a little smile at that. But he won't be smiling if Mentor takes out this 110. Double 16 to do it. 78. Jamie, you require 40. Jamie back for double top. Sure Hits the double top. Game. 10 data followed by a 13 data for Although Jamie Cave and he goes into the lead. And if he continues to score in the manner he is doing, then Mensor's got problems here. Third round taking shape this evening. The winner of this one goes through to face Whitlock and it's the same quarter of the draw with a couple of games that are yet to be contested tonight. Got the world champion Rob Cross against Vincent Vanderbilt. That's a final game of the night. Just before that is James Wade, the biggest name of the unseeded players, taking on John Henderson, possibly the biggest seeded player, certainly in stature. Celebrating his birthday yesterday, Hendo. We've got John Hendo masks in the crowd. Queuing up in Sindelfingen to see the big man. 125. Are they, are they missing a... Oh, I see. Is the, is, the, is the spec bit supposed to be the O? Is it the zero? The, or did he, is he just a big fan of the score of 18? Yeah, really, he looked older than 18. Yeah, I was going to say, he looked a bit old if it's his 18th birthday celebrating. But. If he's 18, John Henderson's 18. I'm not having that. Bizarre. You never know what you're quite going to see in the crowd at German darts event, let's face it. Double 17 and Bull. Loves the bullseye finish, does Mensor. These soft hit players. Former soft hit world champion. Love a bullseye. Mm. Wouldn't know it from that. No, took his time, stepped back. Well. Oh. Not to be. What's the route then? All square at two apiece. Oh, two. He's, he's going the two route. Uh, I, it's not a very good route though, because if you hit the 15, you get two darts at double 16. If you hit the two, then unfortunately, you've got to use another dart to get to a finish. Well. Could that be costly? Go two legs clear of the number six seed. Bullseye and hits the bullseye. That's how to do it. Well, he has dodged a bullet there, Jamie Caven, but a bullseye finish was needed to punish Mensor. And the number six seed has got problems here because Jamie Caven is playing better than I have seen him play in a long while. This is 107 average and climbing for Jamie Caven. And this is despite the fact that he has missed a few darts at double. He's three out of seven on his doubles. And so he's missed three as well. But Jabba, look, he had a run to the quarterfinals on the Pro Tour at the start of this year. He had a run to a semi-final at the very last Players' Championship event last year that just squeezed him into the Players' Championship finals. But even then, he wasn't throwing this kind of stuff. 
This 90. is a remarkable resurgence from Jamie Cave, and he's stolen the darts again. And he's just flowing, Jamie Cave. Could this be just what he needs to get things back on track? Playing on the big stage in front of a big crowd. We've seen him relish those opportunities in the past. Down to a big finish. Starts on the treble 19, so treble 20 would have left tops, but Mensor unable to finish, so he's tidying up the 60 on his return. Well, Mensor on a two darter, but a much simpler two darter for Caven. For another break of throw. Oh, it's too easy for Caven tonight. 14 darter maintaining that 107 average. And Mensor Suljevic, well, he's in danger of getting an absolute toweling from Jamie Caven here. Look, you look at Caven's performances in the Players' Championship events. He has played 10 events. And only 19 matches, because he's had a lot of first and second round exits. There was that quarter-final run. He has not averaged over 100 in any game in those 19. He has got close. He had a, a 97 against Peter Hudson. He had a 98 against Alan Tabern. 96 against Brendan Dolan. But he's averaging 107 right now. This is world-class from Jamie Caven. And could another seed be about to tumble? on second round day. We've seen five seeds go out so far today. And two of them in the first three games of this evening session. And if that trend continues, then Peter Wright, Michael Van Gerwen and Rob Cross, the top three in the world. Well. Well. Need to worry. That's a good setup shot from Mensor Sulevic though. Leaves the Shanghai. What can Caven leave himself? 140. Something a little bit better. But it might not matter. Because Mensor wants tops. Oh, can't hit tops. So for a 5 1 lead. Jamie Caven looking at 66. 55. Tops now. Oh. Just the radar was constantly a bit off in that visit, wasn't it? None of it was very convincing. And Mensor very nearly busts his score there, but sneaks it in the corner with a double ten to get a leg with a break as well. This might be the start of a comeback, but I tell you what, he is very fortunate not to be 5 1 down here. Jamie Kane want to spoke to him after his win over Marino in the first round he did say that he was relishing an opportunity to take Mensor on because he's got a good record against him he's played four one two lost two and perhaps the most significant matchup was the European Championship when Caven won in the first round of that tournament European Championships are a tournament that Caven does like and made the quarterfinals a couple of times they haven't met for more than three years but evidently Caven still had that win lodged in his mind the only other win he had I mean he might have had their first meeting from 2010 lodged in their mind, but I'm, I'm not sure. It was the final of the Sportsdale.com Christmas Open. I mean, you remember the Sportsdale.com oh, yes. Christmas Open of 2010. Yes. Of course you do, Mike. All, all, all roads led to the <laughs> Sportsdale.com <laughs> Christmas Open yeah, that uh, year. Yeah, well, you, rem you remember when Andrew Gilding beat Matt Padgett in the quarterfinals 4-1. Of course you remember that. I've got the commemorative plate <laughs> on the wall. You've already had a look at this one. And he went for the ball and he missed it. Not going to get a chance to go for the ball this time. Well, for the leg at any rate. So slowly clawing his way back, Mensal Sulevic. Looking at 19 for tops. And hits tops. <laughs> For 4 3. Well, there's no need to panic for Jamie Cave, and he is still averaging around about the 102 mark. But Mensor 
This has a kind of a feeling a bit like that Nicholson King game, doesn't it? Where the man who's been trailing for a significant chunk of it is starting to be more aggressive. And it's happened again. Is that the fourth time that's happened to Jamie Caven? Where he's had a dart that seemed destined for the treble 20 and it's just 74. cannoned off a flight or the barrel and just not stuck in the board. Well, Mensah could only follow up that maximum with 85 and showing his frustration. Cave and evidently did a little bit of damage to the flight. He's not sure if he's replaced it. I think he's just bent it back into shape. 44. You listen to the excellent darts pundit Chris Mason talk. He talks about players who are aimers and players who are sort of feel players. Six, they sort of... They're not really looking where they're throwing, they're just going on muscle memory and how it feels as they throw and release the dart. Well, Jamie Caven is very much the latter because he cannot actually see the dart until he's let go of it. He's blind in one eye. He was stung by a wasp in the eye as a baby. Lost his sight, and so he doesn't actually see the dart until it's halfway to the board. So he is the very definition. He could name it if he wanted to. <laughs> yeah, extraordinary story, that. It's incredible that Jamie Caven has, has become such a successful and dangerous darts player over the years. Just on that, that way of playing. But, I mean, it's a completely valid way of playing. There are other guys who do it who can actually see the dart. I'm sure it must help to be able to see it. So to bring us all square at four apiece, Mensal Sulovic just having a look. Caven not on a finish. But he'll want to get this done with tops if he can. Well, he will have to come back for the uh, double ten. Ninety-nine. Is he required twenty? Decent guide, and again he tucks it into the double ten corner. And we are all square. Has Mensor Sulevich weathered the cave and storm? He is now the favourite, the gentle. It looked like he was in danger of getting a hiding. One dart missed for a 5-1 lead. That could have been curtains for Mensor. But Caven, it's not as reliable as it was at the start of the match. He's not had a disintegration like Yella Klaassen did 32. against Jermaine Watamena, where he was world-class for three legs, or beyond world-class, he was deity status for three legs. And then it just fell apart. And he was missing big numbers left, right and centre. Yeah, Haven is still competitive, he's still averaging more than 100, however... Mensor Sulevich is the aggressor in this game. Yeah, that turnaround of fortunes in the game between Yellow Claston and Jermaine Watamina. As you say, Claston out of this world for the first three legs. But then Jermaine Watamina rattled off six legs in a row as Claston started missing 92. everything to book his place in round three tomorrow afternoon. It is going to take some guts, some grit and determination from Jamie Caver if he is going to turn this back his way. And I think a ton 40 was probably what he needed. 40. And that's 100 short. Oh, well. 128. Great setup for his return, double 12. To completely turn things around. Leading for the first time since the opening leg, Mentor Sulevich will be if he can take out this 24. 92. Is he required 24? Mentor Sulevich has got Jamie Cave in exactly where he wants him now. It has been 
a long and hard road to get to this point, but I think Mensour's actions there, where he saluted the crowd's support, suggest that he thinks he's got this one in the bag. One. And the crowd now chanting the name of Mensour Sulovic. That little acknowledgement at the end of that uh, ninth leg. May well we just help to uh, help Sulovic to get over the line and get them cheering on the man a little bit louder as we approach the finale of this match. With MVG waiting in the wings and Alan Tabham, the man to face the world number one. Well, Mensor can't count his little Austrian chickens before they've hatched. No. 59. He's still just over 100 points behind here. And last leg deciders, anything can happen. Mensor perhaps hasn't been quite as deadly 90, in 2018 as he was in 2017. Did make a semi-final in Austria. He benefited from an immense crowd support there, but... He just couldn't quite get over the line in the semi-final. And then go on and claim it, a second Euro Tour title. He's had one quarter-final in the Players' Championship Series. He's not been playing all of them. He's only played half of the ten events. Didn't play any of the UK Open qualifiers, and therefore didn't play the UK Open. We've not seen much of Mensour. And he has looked, arguably... A little bit rusty at times. All right, granted, he was unlucky in the Premier League. He played some great stuff in the Premier League, and I thought he was unfortunate to be in the bottom two. 64. But he was. And looks like we are going all the way. 99. Caven poised on 78. Well, he didn't get a shot at 82 in the eighth leg. He didn't get a shot at 108 in the last leg. He does get a shot this time, and he does take it, and we are going the distance. Last leg decider, Jamie Caven, dominant in the early stages. Mensor Sulevic, the superior player in the latter stages, but has he taken his foot off the gas? 60. Cool finish for that 78 from Jamie. Plenty of room to get another one in there, but can't do it. One hundred. Jamie Caven played a, a Euro Tour event at the back end of last year, made the second round, went no further. That was the only time he played on the Euro Tour last year. Played a, a couple, well, four in 2016. And again, never made it past the second round. He does have that final of the Austrian Open a few years back on his CV. Oh, and he needed to fill it up to leave a finish. This is still in Mensor's hands. Well, he can't find a treble. But he is down to a finish first. Caven can put some real pressure on it. If he can hit another one of those. It has to settle for a ton, but... Which way is this second round game going to go? Well, Mensur can't check out here. And is Jamie Caven going to dump out the number six seed? He has hit half his darts at double Jamie Caven. If this first one goes in the treble 20, he gets two for the match. And he does get two for the match. And he has missed them both by a distance. Well, Mensur Sulevic then. He's got out of jail and hits double 18. You can see what it means to him. The number six seed 
pushed all the way by Jamie Caven playing some of the best darts we've seen Jamie play for some time. But it is Mensur Sulevic who will take on Simon Whitlock. Both players like to have plenty of support from the crowd tomorrow here in Sindelfingen.